Power Systems Protective Device Coordination, Part 6. In Part 5, we talked about the time current characteristic curves for thermal magnetic circuit breakers, and their role in coordination. In Part 6, we will be discussing the TCC curves of electronic trip units and how they can help us in achieving protective coordination. If this video was helpful for you, please consider subscribing to generalpack.com. Our goal is to make power systems intuitive. To demonstrate how TCC curves can be helpful in achieving coordination, let's consider a fault at the load terminals of breaker C. This time, however, we will assume breaker C to be thermal magnetic and breaker B to be a breaker with an electronic trip unit, with adjustable settings. We will now plot the curves of breaker B and breaker C on the same axis. As was established previously, breaker B picks up at a higher amp value, while breaker C picks up at lower amp value. This results in a shift between the curves and allows coordination. For an electronic trip unit, there is a long time region which starts from the pickup amp value. This region includes the protection against overloads, the pickup starts from 110 to 120% of the amp rating. There is an adjustable time delay, after which, it enters the short time region. Short time region is used to define another adjustable pickup value along with an additional delay setting. These adjustable settings help achieve coordination with downstream devices. And finally, we have the instantaneous region that can trip the breaker very quickly, requiring only a few cycles. Both the short time, and instantaneous regions, are for protection against high fault currents. In order to better understand the concept of short time, let us recall the time current curves which were demonstrated in part 5. One of the highlights was a flaw in the instantaneous region of the curves, which overlapped after a certain current level, resulting in both the breakers tripping simultaneously. Let's say the maximum fault current on the terminals of the load is 10,000 amps. For this case, we want breaker C to trip first, for all fault levels at 10,000 amps and below. We would want breaker B to only trip for operational failure of breaker C, or faults on the 480 volt bus. This is where the short time region comes into play. We will use this region to define an additional delay time of 6 cycles which would prevent breaker B from tripping simultaneously with breaker C. With this scenario, breaker C protects the load, up to the maximum fault level on the terminals of the load. It also protects against overloads. Breaker B protects the 480 volts bus and acts as a backup protection device, for breaker C. We have achieved good coordination for this particular scenario. We will now conclude the protection coordination series. There are other strategies which can improve protection and coordination, such as using the I squared T curve for the breaker's short time region. This will be discussed in more detail in later topics. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to generalpack.com. Thank you.